Hello. We are going to Nando's. Mm hmm. And it's the actual Nando's, like the original. Like in England, right? Yeah, like, I don't know. We have one at home where our college is, but um, and it's one of our, like, our favorite places to eat. But we thought that we should go to like the real, real legit Nando's because uh, it's originally from right the UK and Ireland. So yeah, we're gonna go. Yeah. And I just finished my first class studying abroad in England. Yes, I brought her to class today um, mm -hmm. because on Friday, as you know, I go somewhere every single Friday, and she's gonna be coming along with. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be looking at Shakespeare's Globe and uh, other places. How would you say it is? Oh, yeah. Would you like it better here or back at home? I don't know. Kind of. Well, I got something different than what I usually get at home. Yeah. I mean, I would say it tastes like pretty much the same. The rice was like spot on and uh, the chicken was good. One thing that was different though is that uh, the sauces are much spicier here. Our medium back at home is actually medium, but this I would consider it to be like hot. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah, I like this more than this. This, this one? Time. Yeah. So what, lemon and herb? Yeah, I always get that at home, and I also get the mango and herb too, so it's... Yeah, I like this one, the this spicy one more this time. Alright, so we, we're at an escape room. We're gonna be in a room for an entire hour, and what's the storyline for this one? We're kidnapped by a can cannibal. Yeah, by and, a cannibalistic serial killer, yeah. and we have to escape before, before he, eats, he us. eats us. Unfortunately, we can't record in there. Yeah, so. It would give away like all yeah, the true. puzzles and everything, but we'll definitely get back to you guys after, mm -hmm. and I'll probably look very either relieved or stressed. So we've, like neither of us have done an escape room before. Uh, I know that escape rooms have started to become more famous and like, yeah. more common these days and I've never done it, she's never done it, so we thought, hey, let's try it for the first time. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. I'm nervous. Me too. All right, we just made it out of the Woo! escape room, quite literally, because we passed. We passed with three minutes, three minutes and, and 50, 50 seconds, seconds remaining. So no cannibal is gonna be eating us today. It was really awesome, like, just like problem solving and like yeah. doing the all the teamwork. puzzles. Like, I, really, I feel like it showed how well we work together under pressure. <laughs> I mean, near the end, you got a little so panicky the, the, on me. No, no, the dude said that, like, if one thing you would suggest is to not be like panicky towards the end, I wouldn't say I was panicky. I was rushing. You were rushing. I was yeah. rushing it. You were definitely running back and forth. Like yeah, I was just walking fast, making sure like okay, you know, just work at like a faster pace. I highly recommend going to an escape room. Yeah. Because that was fun. Especially I, that one. I mean. Yeah. That was a really. If we could like plug that place. Yeah. So, here it is. I believe it's called Escape Kent. Yeah. And we did, what was it, the the killer or the- Kidnapped. Kidnapped. We did Kidnapped, so if you're ever in the Canterbury area, go check this place out. It's awesome. Kyle is awesome. He yeah. just hooked us up with everything. The funny thing is, so there was a lot of like padlock clues and like numbers and stuff. Um, the answer was written on the fridge the whole time, but that wasn't supposed to be there. Whoever did the puzzle before us wrote that on there. Like the final answer, like the final code to, to get, get out, out of the room entirely. And so the whole game, we're like, like saying the four numbers over and over again. And, <laughs> and that's so all then we he, needed. He said that like when he heard us saying that, he's like, he's like, why oh, no. is that there? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh no, like. <laughs> He would feel so bad if we got out of the escape room and then it was just like yeah we just like skipped missed, an like, entire all part. Puzzles. Having tea over at Tiny Tim's Tea Room. It was very good. Yeah. We both finished all of our tea. Can't 
shout out to Ashton who oh, yeah. suggested that we should do tea time here. Yeah, and I got Ashton her tea. She asked for me to get her some tea from England because there's a tea that she got when she was here and she liked it so much, but and they don't really have it in America, or they do, but it's like not yeah. as good. So then I picked it up for her. Nice. So I'm gonna give that to her. Yeah, I knew that I wanted to drink tea when I was here, but I didn't know like what tea time was all about. So. Yeah, me neither. I was like, apparently this is like a daily thing that you could do. So. Yeah, and I loved it. This is really good. Awesome stuff that we're doing in the town. Oh, it's a great day. <laughs> oh yeah, we escaped a cannibalistic killer and then we're enjoying yeah, our celebration I, over tea. I said it was like a stressful experience, but now we can relax. With some tea, yeah. <laughs> I guess this is the most haunted place in Canterbury, and we had no idea. Wait, show me this. Whoa. The ghost room. What? Oh, don't disturb them when they're sleeping. I read this, and this gives like the whole rundown of what happened in here. Oh, geez. And it's. If you want to pause to read that. I'll read that after I'm done, but. I was just going to the bathroom, as you do, and I looked down, I'm like, what the heck is that? So this is the trap door. So there was a really bad fire a long time, time ago in here. And although it's not approved by the fire department um, for public use, they keep it in here because there's such a terrible history of the fire that burned down this whole building. We just had tea at a very haunted wow. place. Interesting. And literally had no idea. Like the I just floor is like No, slanted. everything is slanted. Like that door is so short. I had a duck to get in here. Yeah. And it's just it's really cool. It's interesting how you know, I just needed to go to the bathroom and here we are in a yeah, no, haunted no, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Be careful. Don't let Tiny Tim take you. Good morning everyone. This is the second time I'm going on the Harry Potter tour and this is her first time and we are currently having a fruit ninja competition on the little coach bus that they have and she beat me in the last round so I'm gonna try to redeem myself or redeem myself. I was going for redemption. I'm going for redemption. I'm gonna redeem myself. She beat me again. Again. Look at the scores. Look at those scores. I got 181. She got 212. What can I say? I'm a fruit ninja. We just made it to the Harry Potter tour. CJ has been talking about this for so long. We have both been saying how much we want to go to the Harry Potter tour. And I knew that I had to take her here. And yeah, <laughs> you guys have seen all of this before, but CJ has not. So it's going to be awesome to see like her reaction to everything. I don't know why I feel like crying. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I'm so excited. Yeah, of course. We love Harry Potter and we're here. Let's do this. Let's do it. Grab those cameras and those smartphones and go call it creamy crazy because this is the great Hall of Hogwarts. It was one of the first sets ever built for the series. And as we make our way inside, I'm sure you can't help but notice it's also one of the largest. Now for the first time in studio tour history, we are set and ready for the Elder Leo Elf examination in Harry Potter. And then through and say up. Up. Magic! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh yeah! Got some nice butter. Oh. We got some nice butter beer. Why don't you go and take a sip? That stuff is good. Yeah. I already finished mine. Awesome stuff. I like savoring it. Yeah. It's so good. We love it. So, how are you liking the Harry Potter tour so far? I'm loving it. It's yeah. just like, it's so surreal. Like, I know I mentioned this the other day about the cathedral, like, to know that they were here. Uh-huh. Like, they walked all these floors, like, they wore the outfits. Yeah, that's you awesome. Know, like, and I love testing out the things, like, we made... Well, it's upside down, but... Nice. So we get like to these. And we have little passports. Oh, yeah, where you could, like, do these little stamps. Here, let's see. Yeah. So, at the different locations, you get these little, it's kind of hard to see, but you like stamp it on this little crust thing and then it gives like a little texture print. You got like about five guns so far? Yeah, and I'll, yeah, um, the next one is at Gringotts. Yeah. 
We're at our new house. Yep, we just bought our first house. It's a four privet drive here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Never seen before. Never, Never seen before. It's a new house, no one's ever lived in it. Nope. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny because in the, I think it's the first ever vlog that you were in, we were at Harry Potter World uh, in Universal yeah. Studios. And now we're at the Harry Potter tour. And did you notice what I did with my hair? Oh, was it the same? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. And that was also the last time we were seniors in school. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we love full circle. Oh yeah, and also we were on spring break. And you're on spring break right now. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> We just got done with the amazing Harry Potter tour. How did you like it? It was awesome. It was filled with so many different like props and visual effects, uh -huh. special effects. We, I learned the difference between that. But um, yeah, it was just overall really fun. Like I'm so excited to like look at all the pictures you took. <laughs> um, I'm excited to have this picture. Oh yeah, getting milkshakes. You got a, uh, a strawberry something milkshake and I got a chocolate brownie one. Mm. So let's dig in. It's good. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I think she's a little slap happy right now, and so am I, because it's it's late. I have to sneeze. Oh. <coughs> yeah, but it is what like almost 11 p.m. and we've just been traveling for like the past probably like three-ish four hours. Yeah, we've um, been traveling all week, honestly. Yeah. Which is not a bad thing. It's mm -hmm. pretty good. Yeah, we've definitely made the most of this week. This, I, this is the most I've done like in one single week. Yeah, like, same. Yeah, usually I take like a like a Friday trip or like a weekend trip, but like this every like day trip. every single day we've been like just going places, and it's probably gonna be my favorite week of the entire trip if I'm being honest. Cause I had my favorite with me. Yeah. So we got one more day tomorrow, which is London, and then. Um, and then we're also gonna got a hotel so we could uh, catch her flight in the morning. Good night. We still have to walk home like 25 minutes. Uh.